Hey everyone! Oh. Hi everyone! <laughs> Good morning. It is early. Not that early, but early for us. Early. Mm -hmm. um, we're on our way to Block 1912, a local cafe here in Edmonton. It's on my dad. It's super cute. It's like my favorite cafe. It's great. It has yeah. really good, what is it, gelato? Great gelato. <laughs> so, yeah, let's go inside. Welcome back. We are now in the basement of Block 1912. I didn't know they had a downstairs. I shouldn't call it a basement, but anyway, we are in Block 1912 speaking with Bea, the baker here at Block 1912. So if you've ever had one of the delicious pastries, this is your lady. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing today? I'm good. Awesome. I'm good, thank okay. you. We will start off with you telling us a bit about yourself. Okay. Um, my name is Bea. I came here in Canada to be the baker of Block 1912. I just came April 2023. I usually work here in the morning, 8.30, so that um, just to make sure that all the pastries for breakfast and the cakes will be enough for the day. What would you say makes Block 1912 special? Um, for me, as the baker, I think Block 1912 is special because we continuously change the menu. So for the customers, they will, be, they will always be surprised with new flavors of cakes, that's it. <laughs> and do you have a favorite flavor of cake or a favorite menu item that you offer? Um, my favorite thing to do is the tiramisu because it's the best seller. And also what I like is the challenging ones like the, the gluten-free ones, the vegan, because I have to make sure that they're moist, you know, or something like that. So that kind of answers my next question. I was going to ask about if you're able to accommodate for people with allergies or like dietary restrictions, but by the sounds of it, you can do that. Yeah, <laughs> we, yeah we always make sure that we have the gluten-free items, vegan, and sometimes I make cakes both gluten-free and vegan because there are people with both um, have dietary restriction, not free. Baking is really hard. Rochelle and I tried to be bakers one time in the fifth grade. Uh, we started a cupcake business for a day. It didn't last. <laughs> what would you say is the most challenging aspect of your job? Um, here in Block 1912, I think the most challenging part is thinking what to do next because I have to make sure that we change the menu and also to make sure that it will look nice because you feed with your eyes first. So you, um, there are flavors that are very unusual. I have to make it really beautiful so that people will try it. Because a lot of people are scared to try new flavors. That was me for a long time, so I relate to those people. <laughs> <laughs> but life has gotten better since I've expanded my palate, so it's <laughs> awesome. On the flip side of that, what would you say is the most rewarding part of the work that you do? The rewarding part is us being busy because it means that people is coming back and they like what I'm making. And of course, when people do um, make give us uh, good reviews personally and online, it makes me so happy. Well, what is it that got you into baking? Well, actually, growing up, I my mom and dad had a cafeteria in front of our house. So we, I, I usually help them prepare food. But into baking, I took culinary arts when I was in college. Uh, my classmates would ask me to join competitions like dessert making competition, chocolate making. And so, and then my family would also start to ask me to make the birthday cakes in our family, you know, the wedding cakes. Oh, wow. Yeah. And we also do back home every December we prepare like we sell um, Christmas treats so that made me decide to do baking and when I was when I started working I worked in New York um, but I usually I usually work in hot kitchen and cold kitchen I, I make sure that I go to the pastry department even after my my clock 
in, you know. Um, and so that's it. I make sure that I work in pastry to be able to learn, and that's it. <laughs> wow. So you've traveled quite a bit then. I mean, working in New York, working here, and then working back home? Yeah. Um, I had my internship in New York, oh, um, in a resort. I, I worked there in uh, Lake House, so it is only open for summer. So what I did is after, because my contract is longer than the summer. So what I did is I asked them to put me in the pastry department. So that's where I learned. Well, actually, I really like pastry. So I made sure that I'll be part of the kitchen, of that kitchen. <laughs> Do you have a favorite pastry, like of all time, of all the places you've worked that you've made before? No, actually not. I don't have a specific pastry place where maybe the person or people. Uh, my favorite person is my professor in college because she's really great. She's actually, um, she, she's actually married to a very famous chocolatier in the world. So, yeah, and that makes me, like, whenever someone walks a, a pastry um, group, like, it feels like I'm looking into a Hollywood star. Oh, so, yeah. Wow. <laughs> that's so exciting. I love that for her. And it's so nice that she made such an impact on you yeah. that you were able to, like, move forward with that and remember it. If you could open a Block 1912 or take it anywhere in the world, where would it be and why? no other place than into our hometown in the Philippines because I wanted to share what I'm making here and of course to my parents I want them to try it because <laughs> they're my mom is really my my inspiration because she cooks a lot bakes a lot and she's really my number one my first um, professor like with mentor in kitchen <laughs> oh that's so sweet I hope either she can come here and visit and try all the yeah, things you make, that. or you can bring it back home for her, but cakes don't really fly Not well, that. so <laughs> that's understandable. <laughs> and then last question, what would you say is the best piece of advice you've received throughout your life? To be teachable and to keep continue learning to other people. Even if you think you're great in what you're doing, there's still a lot of people better than what you do. And so even the little and smallest thing that they can teach you can make a big impact into what I'm doing right now. So that's it. That's really great advice. I love that. Be a sponge. Thank you. <laughs> okay. We are making um, gluten-free and vegan vanilla cake. So I prepared this for you. Um, here we have the gluten-free flour, baking powder, sugar, baking soda. So it's a really easy cake. We just have to mix the dry ingredients to the wet ingredients. So Perfect. Nice and easy. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Buttermilk, vegan. I use soy milk and then I just put um, apple cider vinegar. Oh, uh, cool. And then I can just pour this in? Yeah, everything. Such a good baker. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> just Apple kidding. sauce. Apple sauce, interesting. Oh, wait, I need that. Sorry to let you work. <laughs> yeah. Usually no one trusts me with this kind of stuff. <laughs> oh, no, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Ah. And this is a vegan butter. Okay. So for all your recipes, do you come up, like do you have complete creative control of like the yeah. cakes that you make? Nice. So, but sometimes I do ask them like, what are the fruits in season? Because I'm new here. Ah, so I don't gotcha. usually know yeah. and what people usually like. Mm -hmm. So I have to research on that. So it's, even if I'm home, I'm still working, <laughs> doing my homework. Yeah. This is fun homework though. Yeah. Actually, I say that as this is my first time like baking in a long time and you probably do it all the time, you know, so. Very different experiences. And I need, I also need to 
research on the vegan and gluten free, you have to be very careful with that. Mm -hmm. It smells so yummy. You, you can't, can't smell it, it but it smells very yummy. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I am. It's because I'm talking. That's what I always do. Ah. I can help you. Sorry. That's fine. I can add more. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> this is such a handy mixer. My sister has one of these and I'm constantly blown away. I'm like, wow. The ease. I know. I wish I had. Me too. KitchenAid, if you're listening, sponsor us. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I actually make breads here too. Really? Yeah. Cinnamon rolls. You make it all. What can't you do? Well, that's the fun part of working here. Yeah. I challenge myself. Like, sometimes they would ask me, can you do this? And I would like, okay, I'll try. And then it will turn out good. Just sometimes not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, at least you tried, you know? Like, yeah. some people won't even try. They'll be like, no, I don't know how to do that. So even if I'm alone here, like, I still learn. Yeah. Yeah. Learn from myself. <laughs> yeah. Experience. Yeah. Yeah, so we just have to scoop out one of these. Yeah, literally. Like that Do you much? Miss Oops. Baking? Yeah, that's fine. Cool. <laughs> Sorry, what were you gonna say? <laughs> Nothing. I feel like I'm holding this so awkwardly because I'm like, oh, there's a guy, like, hey, we gotta do it well. We gotta make sure it's good. There's literally. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go tell everyone, yeah, like I helped make them, no big deal. I blocked my blocked my Go check them out. Like, I did that. Okay, I can do the rest of it. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Thank you. <laughs> I know my strong suits. Talking, that's my strong suit. That's it. That's what I got. <laughs> sorry to surprise you with this. No, don't be sorry. This is fun. Thank you for doing it with me. And doing all of the prep work because I just put things in the mixer. That's that's all I did. The ease. I always love watching people do the thing that they do all the time. Because yeah. mm -hmm. just like I was very weird and awkward with how I was attempting to scoop it out. But you're just so smooth and natural. And I'm like, wow. Yeah. yeah. Minus mine. But, were but like I do. Become messy sometimes, like <laughs> Okay, we just have to put it in the oven. So what kind of frosting is it? This is just a chocolate. You chocolate? Just have to, yeah. Melted chocolate. Oh, yeah. just melted. Oh. Yeah, so just decorate it with that. So, okay. yeah, you can try it. On here? Yeah, sure. And then what kind of cake is it? This is a chocolate raspberry cake. Ooh. We're off to a great start, everybody. It's going really well. That's good. No, it is okay. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, yeah. You okay. can hold it like this, so okay. the pressure. Okay. So don't, um, what I learned actually in baking is, in decorating everything, is don't think too much. Because the more you think about it, when actually I'm writing happy birthday on the cakes, the more I think, the more it gets worse. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's so, very fair So actually. just an abstract swirl on top. Okay. Like, like the whole thing? Yeah, go ahead. Oh my lord. <laughs> Apologize in advance. <laughs> okay. You can start here from there. Or do you here want to me here? to show? Maybe if you wanted to do oh, okay. one and then I'll do one. Maybe that would be a good way of doing it. Okay, just like this. Okay. Yeah, okay. See? Yeah. So very Yeah. Good. You made that look so easy. <laughs> Now I'm not the only nervous person here. Yeah, <laughs> I have not been nervous all day, and now I'm like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. No, it's actually great. You're doing well. But that's great. Like exactly like first time. It doesn't. That's how I know you're lying. No, I mean, it's okay. yeah. 
They're a little small, but that's, that's okay. Fine. It's gonna look good individually. Like exactly, yeah, okay, yeah. that's true. I'll just keep thinking that to yeah. myself. Oh my goodness. How do you get it only on the ones? Oh, like this, okay. Well, actually, what I really do is, I do it the whole thing. I didn't oh. cut, I, um, I cut it after I do this rose. Oh. But because it's for video purposes, I already got it. <laughs> <laughs> we pre-cut it for the video purposes. Mm, yeah. Have you ever drawn like just like a happy face or like a single dot? Sorry, again. Have you ever drawn like just like a happy face or just like a small dot or something on it? No. Yeah, it's always yeah. been this world. Um, sometimes I just do... Oh, like lines? Lines like, yeah. like that. Yeah, I guess you don't really have time to like individually like... Oh, for them, sure, yeah. 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 But we ha we offer cakes like the small ones, like what we do. Yeah. I decorate them individually. Oh, wow. So, so how long does like, something like that take? Well, the first time I make it, like, it took me one hour. Yeah. But then as I do it every day, became like 30 minutes less. You know? Wow. And I, I really did let you do it. <laughs> <laughs> <It's fine>. Sorry. <laughs> Is this okay? Yeah, it is. <laughs> okay. They're like progressively getting smaller. I'm like, oh my goodness. I'm trying to like start the same way you started, but I think, uh, oh, actually that wasn't that bad. Yeah, that, that's better. Better. <laughs> you are not wrong. I appreciate the honesty. I yeah, appreciate sorry, the I honesty. So honest. No, I, that's no, what you need, you know? I like. Love it. Because it was better. Over here it got yeah. really good. Yeah. And then we kind of fell off again. Too excited. Too excited. <laughs> Too in the moment, you know? Okay, this is the last shot. And this will be proof that Block 1912 will never hire me. All right. Oh, we're already off to a start for sure. Oh my god. A little italicies. Italics. Thank you so much. Taste test of the cake I just decorated. I did not make it. Okay. Preface so with me too. Look at the beauty. She is Look beauty. She is great. Cheers. Oh. oh my god. That is the best chocolate cake I've ever had. I think. That's the best raspberry icing I've ever had. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that it's like so not too sweet. Way. Not too. Wow, that's so good. <laughs> doing today I'm doing good like pretty much nervous right now but doing fine <laughs> awesome I promise you it will not be as awful as you're probably thinking in your head <laughs> it's very low pressure uh, so we'll start with you just telling us a bit about yourself um, my name is Raven I'm working in block 1912 uh, for a year now I guess so I work in night shift most of the time and my schedule is like a pretty much opposite for most of the people so if you're going to visit us like in uh at night or in the afternoon you'll just you'll go with probably to meet me perfect so come then and then you can meet raven <laughs> <laughs> and what would you say makes block 1912 special uh block 1912 displayed its uh authentic authenticity for over 30 years now so it's down to it by is crafted for more function than uh displayed uh, it's not just about the coffee drinks. You won't find latte art or fancy coffee drinks here, but uh, just the delicious Americanos and a vibe that uh, leave you thinking about coming back. Yeah, we got um, everyone here is so nice. I got a Vietnamese coffee and I've only yeah. had two sips of it, but it is so good. <laughs> I'm a big fan of the coffee mm. here. Can you speak a little bit more about the coffee or the beverage items that you carry? So uh, we offer a variety of uh, options such as uh, drip coffees. We have uh, dark roast or medium roast here, es uh, espresso-based drinks and specialty, specialty coffee drinks. 
like lattes, cappuccinos, macchiatos. We also offer a selection of uh, teas called beverages, uh, boozies, wines, and uh, cocktails, and also seasonal drinks. Just like what we have right now, we have blue uh, blue lavender latte and strawberry shortcake. Oh, those are so latte. fun! <laughs> yeah. So everything from coffee to cocktails, so mm -hmm. you could relatively spend all day here. You know, for come sure. in the morning, do your work <laughs> on your computer, have lunch, and then stay for dinner and a drink. Mm -hmm. So that's perfect. <laughs> Within the wide scope of drinks that you offer, mm -hmm. are you able to accommodate for people with like allergies or dietary restrictions? Uh, we have a selection of like plant-based milk options. We have uh, soy, almond, oat. We have coconut as well. Okay. If you want like skim milk, we can just we can also offer you that one. And uh, what else? Like. We also have a sugar-free syrups, like uh, sugar-free vanilla and uh, caramel. So by the sounds of it, you, I'm assuming mm. you do your best to accommodate to people? Yes, of course. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> do you have a favorite drink here on the menu? Uh, probably, because I have a lot of favorites, actually. <laughs> so if in terms of cold drinks, the one that you mentioned, the Vietnamese, the coffee? Vietnamese coffee is one because I have a sweet tooth as well. Me too. So, <laughs> so, because Vietnamese co coffee is a combination of condensed milk and espresso, mm -hmm. and uh, and a whole whole milk. In terms of like a warm kind of drink, uh, I prefer like uh, the ganache mocha. Ganache mocha is a That's combination of. Like, you're going to either choose white or dark chocolate, or you can mix it if you want. Ooh. And you can, add, like, a combination of with espresso. And we're using half and half cream here. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. So it will be creamy. <laughs> yeah. Within the work that you do, I imagine mm -hmm. there are great moments and difficult moments. What would you say is the most difficult part of your job or, more, or most challenging aspect? So, uh... Because in the food, in general, as a food uh, service industry, we are moving in a fast-paced environment. So the challenge is how to make it like consistent in terms of preparing our drinks. And yeah, I guess that's the, and also like dealing with difficult customer for sure. <laughs> Yeah, I feel for you on that one, yeah. especially if people are coming in first thing in the morning, haven't had their coffee yet. Yeah, of course. You know, they are, yeah. <laughs> but then on the opposite end of that, you probably get some really nice people, like some regulars that you meet and get to know. Of course. Yeah. So on the flip side then, what would you say is the most rewarding part of the work that you do? Um, the most amazing part of being a barista is when you see or their smile. You see people smile and they appreciate your work. Because uh, being a barista, it's just more than a coffee. It's also an art form. So you're expressing yourself through uh, making coffee. You're doing an art latte. You're doing your best to ex execute uh, your... Yeah, to impart yourself to the coffee. Yeah. And, and that's what makes the, it amazing. I have a coffee restaurant uh, back in the Philippines before I'm coming here. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's called Brahms Kitchen. It's still operating right now. Oh, nice. um, yeah, uh, I moved back here in Canada just to try my luck here. And because uh, I also I graduated a Bachelor of Science in Hotel and Restaurant Management. Oh, wow. So, uh, so. Part of that is learning how to be a, a barista and like, yeah. <laughs> and all about the guest experience. Yes. For sure. Cool. I I was a barista for under a year and I was very bad at it. So yeah. <laughs> I have a lot of respect for baristas because I know it's for hard. Sure. <laughs> you came from the Philippines. How are mm -hmm. you liking Canada? Do you enjoy it? Um, so far, I'm adjusting with the weather. Because you know, Philippines is like, oh, because I'm also came from before I, I work here. I also came from Saudi Arabia. Oh wow! So I work in uh, in airlines. Oh cool! Yeah, in Saudi Airlines for uh, for five years. 
before coming here. And yeah, the, the weather there is so extremely hot. And here, you know, the winter here is extremely, extremely cold. Very cold. I am so sorry. <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> Not bad. I, I, I'm actually enjoying it. Oh, really? You like the cold. <laughs> I'm glad someone enjoys it. Yeah. We are, but I feel as though you're probably. Also I don't know ready in coming spring. years, but so yeah. far. <laughs> yeah, it's. I guess it's manageable, but now manageable. I think it's kind of time for spring. It's April, mm. like we're ready for it to warm up. There, there are times only. I think for, for one or two weeks that it's it's extremely cold, like 40, 50 degrees. Yeah. But so far, I'm enjoying it. Okay. Well, I'm glad on the in the grand scheme of it, you're having a good time. So you've been to a couple different places mm -hmm. by the sounds of it. If you could open a Block 1912 anywhere in the world, where would you go? Uh, I would definitely like I want to import the Block 1912 in my home country, which is the Philippines. So I want them to experience the yeah Canadian hospitality which we have here. Because we, we have here uh, uh, a product that delights the world and the services that epitomizes Canadian hospitality. Would you say that that's very different compared to the hospitality that you're used to in the Philippines? Because mm, in Pil no, like almost similar, but yeah, almost similar, but the way Canada do it, like, because Canadians are so friendly people, <laughs> I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for more, for, they said in Edmonton especially. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that would be really nice <laughs> to take back then, for sure. And then our last question would be, what is the best piece of advice you've received throughout your life? Um, it would be from my, grand, uh, from my late grandma. She said that you never know how strong you are until... Being strong is your it's the only option. Yeah. And uh, also she said I vividly remember that it doesn't matter what people think about you and what you can achieve as long as you uh, you know your core, you know yourself and uh, that's what it is. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> Great, thank you so much. Thank you. I've been drinking Ice coffee ASMR. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Just finished up at Block 1912. Oh my gosh, um, so yum! It's a lot of fun. Everyone was super nice there, like always. But um, yeah, the food's great. I have leftovers, so love. Um, yeah, come check it out. Atmosphere, coffee, wine. It's so cocktails. vibey. It's so vibey. Like they have a take a book, leave a book. They have delicious cakes and yeah. gelato and pastries and food and. Amazing coffee, and I Amazing love people. it. It's, it's yeah, Great. it's just my favorite. Ten out of ten. So <laughs> check it out, guys. Okay, everyone, we found a note in the wall. So Rochelle's gonna read it to us. One day, whether you deserve it or not, you will die. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, everyone, take two of a note Rochelle found. It says. If, well, one side says, if you're reading this, your word is donkey. What, did, what could that mean? <laughs> Cheese, yellow, white, and sometimes blue. God, I always have room for you. I munch and I munch till I can't take no more. Bad word? Now I'm banging on the bathroom floor. It's a hard life. I live without lactose. 
but also those munches are so sublime. So although cheese comes with aches and pains, it blanks me so good, I'd be screaming its name. That's <laughs> so good. It has a name, doesn't it? Kelly. Shout out Kelly. You're Kelly, you're talking. iconic. <laughs> Yeah, everyone, come to Walk 1912 and read the random notes on the wall. This is so fun. I've been here a million times, and I never knew they did that. So, love it.